um, I work at Liverpool University in the early, early childhood program. First of all, I need to clarify that we have advanced a lot in the theorization of children as participants in learning activities. And in this respect, agency means this capacity that children have to make their own decisions, the capacity that children have to think of what is important to them and how they want to get involved in learning activities. child made a comment to say oh my daddy is buying an electric car and then this other one turned around and said no cars don't run on electricity cars run on petrol and they, they came, no no you're, you're no, my, my daddy is buying an electric car and so we engaged in this conversation trying to you know to understand whether or not this was a possible thing possible and an opportunity to introduce this concept of changing, you know, changing from traditional uh, fuel to alternative green energy. And uh, I think uh, this, is, uh, this is a rather important thing for children and they are very conscious about the environment, they are very conscious about uh, how we use electricity. So it all started with the story of someone commenting about an electric car and why do we need to change the environment and why we are engaged on science activities for understanding very complex messages. In terms of experiential learning, we are trying to work with children on issues regarding to the environment and how to sustain and develop our environment in a positive way. So children were talking about some issues of carbon emissions, they were talking and the whole conversation started by someone saying that his daddy was buying an electric car. And so we got talking on why do we need electric cars now, what's the problem with petrol? This is what we call the agency of the child, this ability of representing their uniqueness on what they do, on what they want to learn, on how they learn and the kind of messages that they take from the activities that they do and how they incorporate that in the way they think and in the way they see their own learning. For example, I was, uh, I, was, I was planning an activity on children's understanding the change of the acidity of the ocean and we were trying to do something very simple, uh, to blow our own or on, on, on the water and then to measure the acidity of the water beforehand and afterward. So just to compare how the water changes and it's us who are changing the environment. Now I don't need to provide any more explanation that we can change and transform our environment through our emissions. And also if we add this, uh, this idea of experiential learning in the early years, it's very much an approach to science that is, is part of the, the daily activities that they do. So really learning science in the early years is very much an interactive approach. I suppose that one of the difficulties of adopting this position of seeing children as equal and I suppose the discourses of protecting children, allowing them participation perhaps, uh, how do we strike the balance? I think um, there are strategies on how, to, on how to approach this and I believe the language that we use can be quite helpful in constructing this relationship of being equal and being fair and perhaps allowing the children to see that we value them on a 